had a wonderful day today we are going to talk about the current ongoing infosys hiring okay so we'll see like what is the test pattern what kind of question they will ask so we'll discuss everything let me share a quick ppt with you okay so you know in the previous video you already heard about that what are the roles how you can apply for this what will be the process that, that everything you know in this particular video we will understand that what will be the test pattern like what kind of question they will ask from where you need to study like to you know boost up your preparation so what all you need to do is that which we'll understand here okay so we already know that uh, you know infosys basically have for the three positions even if they haven't declared the position as of now but they generally have for the like system engineer which is they you know get the package of 3.6 lpa and again for the infosys digital specialist engineer which is a sp they get the package of 5 lpa and again specialist programmer 9.5 okay but this is not decided i'll tell you how these positions will be offered and what is the whole scenario in the video okay but but as of now because as of now the infosys is going on and in future a lot of companies will come we want that you should be updated which each update you should get every detail of every kind of hiring for that purpose you can refer these channel all the social media channels which can help you to get the updates on the upcoming hiring okay again so what is the process in the infosys right so like how people can apply there is a separate video on youtube so by the website itself you can search like infosys hiring process you will see from there but in colleges the registration will happen there will be two kind of rounds first is the online test i'll tell you what kind of syllabus will be in this online test but first is the online test second is the hr interview okay and technical round also it will be a combined in technical round what they will ask okay and again in online test what they will ask i'll tell you but before that before moving on everything i want to tell you something important okay and that important thing is that because you know what happen a lot of opportunities come but people do not you know prepare in the right way and that's why they miss last time you know deloitte around 50% people you know weren't selected even in their their resume weren't selected they were got rejected by resume itself so i want that everybody should have a right path everybody should have what kind of resume they need if you want to you know update yourself you can refer this professor prime website there 200 plus course, uh, courses are available and again for infosys also there is a one course a complete roadmap a complete tutorial for infosys itself you can you know watch videos in a sequence and you can prepare for the infosys why which you should not miss this opportunity okay and again i guess if you go on the purchase page there is a one thing very important going on 36% off because of republic day it's just recently happened right so you can also apply that now let's move ahead on our existing content which is this right so you know registration will happen and these already covered in the separate video you can refer to the preface session itself there is a one video you will search like infosys hiring process and you will see it there okay so the registration process is there again i'm also reading the comment okay so whatever questions you have i'll keep saying it you can shoot to me for so online test i'll tell you the pattern technical round and hr round and after this process they will train you for 6 months that will be the probation period means where they will train you on the very skill set and once you are trained they will you know assign you a particular role to perform in the company so that's what they have planned as of now in the online test there are few sections reasoning ability technical ability verbal pseudo code numerical puzzles english grammar english writing so these are seven sections which you need to prepare for this kind of infosys online test here also timing is given for reasoning ability you have to spend 20 minute in the exam they will give you 15 questions will be there again for the technical ability you will have 10 questions and 35 minutes okay and i'll also tell you in detail what kind of questions what topics you need to study in this particular sections okay again for the verbal ability there are 20 questions 20 minute but means one question per minute against pseudo code 
uh, pseudocode means some kind of basic coding template, but not in a specific language where you can, you know, tell like what is something logic is missing, where you can complete the logic, this kind of questions. Again, numerical puzzles, four questions, 10 minutes, English grammar, five questions, 10 minutes, and again, English writing, ten, uh, one question, 10 minutes. So this is the pattern for the online test. Okay, I'll also tell you what they will ask in the HR round and what they will ask in the technical round. Okay, I'll tell you that also. So in the total seven sections are there, you will have 120 minutes, means two hours. So that is, I guess, good enough of time to perform in that test. Again, you know, and again, for the whole roadmap, for the whole roadmap, I've already suggested to you to visit the Prime. Okay? Because there you will see everything in very detail for the Infosys itself. And again, uh, something which is not on the slide and telling you here, you know, what is the scenario? In the technical round, they can ask questions. I'm also reading the comments. Huh? It's an off campus for 2025 widget. As of now, they have announced for on campus, but maybe because they are hiring around 20,000 plus engineers. 20,000 plus. So this is a mass hiring. So definitely they'll come off campus also. But that is not very certain. It's so on campus as of now. So technical round. In technical round, we know the topics, right? So in technical round, mostly the things will be related to OOPS object oriented programming concept. You can refer the Java course here also, and you can prepare by yourself also. Okay, and again, some questions from OS operating system, some questions from network, some questions from DBMS. These will be the main topics, SQL. These will be the main topic for the technical interview. Okay, these will be the main topic for the technical interview. In HR round, they will ask the questions, even from your resume itself, for the, you know, for checking your communication. And in technical questions, because this is the mix, HR and technical round. So you will have question around your project, whatever you have been created, they can ask like, uh, explain me the particular code in your project and why you have created, what was the purpose, what is the agenda, right? And how is the ads in your skill set? So these kind of questions they can ask. Now I'm open for the questions if you have any, but the last and most important thing is that follow the roadmap, okay? I don't want that anybody should miss this opportunity. Follow the roadmap. So, okay, is it for graduate engineer training role or something like that? Actually, this hiring, they're targeting for 2026. So, they will start from 25 and it will continue till 26. Okay. Yeah. So, again, now you know what they will ask in the online test what they can ask in the technical interview and HR round. For your complete preparation, refer this preference star course in, on, for the Infosys itself. I'm showing you the course itself also again. And you know, for if you don't want to refer complete course, you want that like, I want to understand like the type of question, the difficulty level, just search uh, Infosys preference star prime. Okay, so here you'll see a blog. This is a freely available blog. You can go here, you can see, for the Infosys link, you'll get here. Otherwise, you can directly search like Prepista Prime Infosys 2025. You'll see the top link. Okay. So here also we have mentioned everything what is needed, like reasoning ability, how many questions they will ask, what will be the time, what kind of what category of question you'll need to prepare, what will be the topics. So here you can see like uh, here uh, in the technical round, everything is mentioned, right? Again, the number of question and time also. And for a specific topic, what you can do is that here you'll see like mathematical ability, what are the topics, what are the important topics already listed here. You can refer like, you know, what happens in Infosys. They used to ask a lot of questions from, uh, you know, HTF, LCM, percentage, speed and time distance. So these are some few important topics that you need to focus a lot. Okay. So here again, everything has been said. Now for the question itself, you can refer these things for the sample questions like previous year paper, what has you know, already asked in the previous years. So you can refer the things here also. Okay. So here already things are mentioned. I can refer the questions itself. Here you can see already mentioned. For logical reasoning, similarly, you can refer. 
the logical reasoning question, the previous year question paper, and I will always suggest here yeah, the one thing. The most important thing is that whenever you apply for any company, prepare well. Because opportunity has a cost. Prepare well. See the roadmap. Prepare everything in a planned way. By which you should hit your target. Right? Do not just scatter. Just do not, you know, remain on the things like whatever I know, which is sufficient. Always take a proper roadmap, proper guidance, then go ahead. Hence, so we expect in, uh, system engineering off campus. They may, you know, they may have higher in this also because they haven't declared the position as of now. But probably they mostly hire on these roles. Okay, they mostly hire from these roles. I've already, I guess, shown to you guys somewhere in the slide itself. Look at this. Okay, system engineers. They will have because 20,000 will not be directly going to be a software engineer. They will have the categories. Okay. I'm taking the doubts. If you have any question, I'm happy to answer. I'm happy to answer. If you have anything. Okay. Okay. So I guess now every topic has been covered. Hey. And I don't think so. There are a lot of questions. Please, please refer to the above message. Okay. Cool, yeah. And again, uh, the most, the last important tip which I want to tell you, uh, what happens in the pseudo code, what I've seen in the previous year and the last many years, how Infosys are. In the coding question, they do not go a lot of coding, but in the pseudo code part, they mostly ask questions from C, C++, some input output streams questions. Okay, so some kind of code where you need to, you know, figure out the logic. So these kind of questions you can expect in pseudo codes. Rest, I guess, I've covered everything. I guess I've covered everything, right? Okay. So now I guess we can wrap when Infosys off campus. Very soon your college will tell you. Very soon your college will tell you. Because and off campus, you know, directly they are not as of now, they're not having off campus directly, but your college will inform you. And whenever any update will come, you already followed some channel for first, right? Already followed. So we'll post the update there also. Okay. For the off campus, we'll also give you the updates on the following channels. So remember to follow them as well. Okay, I don't think so. We have a lot of questions. Now I guess we can wrap. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you'll refer the suggestions and you'll be getting a super chance. Okay, bye-bye guys, bye-bye.